Is the summer slowdown giving you the blues? Are you regretting life decisions sitting in your car in a McDonald's parking lot at 2 p.m.? Are you down so bad that you write hateful comments in your favorite GigTubers videos? Well, welcome to the channel. I have And stay tuned to the end as this last tip will absolutely blow your mind. Number one. We are not going to spend much time on this. If you are part time or this is a secondary income, I get it. But if you are full time and trying to actually make good money, I'll beat this dead horse one more time if you only run one app i really feel bad for you the only delivery gig app that has the volume to consistently run solo is doordash and anybody that has made real good money in a short amount of time will tell you that doordash will throttle your earnings if you don't believe this you simply just haven't experienced making big money off the app. I'm talking 40, 50 dollars an hour. Dash time, not active time. Once you get there, you better believe that DoorDash is gonna throttle your ass off. If you have a high acceptance rate with high priority to the highest paying offers, best believe that you are about to see the worst offers you have ever seen until your hourly rate drops to what DoorDash wants you to make. And if your acceptance rate is low, you simply just won't see any offers, which is why you must multi-app so you can maximize your earnings. But for those that don't, thank you for leaving the rest of us all the other opportunities on the other apps. And also thank you for when you quit the one app you are working because you aren't making any money. So yes, more opportunities there too. Number two. Most people, myself included, prefer to hot spot camp and set up shop in a high traffic area and cherry pick the best orders that are keeping us within close range of that high traffic area. However, during summer slowdown, that is only feasible for a couple hours in the day, typically dinner. Hot spot jumping increases the range of orders that make sense to take and allow you to focus on the cash flow of the order and less on the miles. You simply go from hot spot to hot spot, working a circle around the map. Routes that keep you along the interstate make this strategy super effective. I think of it like this. I'd rather go 42 and 14 in Call of Duty rushing around the map than go 11 and 1 camping in a random alleyway. Yes, the 11 to 1 KD is better stat wise, but at 42 and 14, I'm actually making a positive impact to the game, or in this case, my bank account. Number three. During the summer slowdown, you have to be able to get a feel of what kind of orders are hitting your phone. Use your cues like the ETA feature on DoorDash, how often the Uber Eats app is going off to gauge how picky you can be in the moment. Some days you'll be able to hotspot camp and burn minimum miles. Some days you'll have to hotspot bounce and increase your mileage. Some days you'll have to nickel and dime your way to the money and take those $8 lower mile orders. Some days you'll get blessed with a fluky catering order on DoorDash or a super high base pay order on Uber Eats that ends up carrying you throughout the day. You have to be able to get a feel on the order flow and be willing to adapt on the fly on the route that you take to get to the money. Number four. Speaking of winning in different ways, you must become an efficient shopper to survive the summer slowdown. Shopping orders don't really experience a slowdown in the summer. A lot of drivers don't like them and a lot of drivers can't do them. Shopping orders are super easy to stack together 
and as long as you can efficiently shop, bag, and route, you can make some easy cash along with not burning up gas, shopping in a nice air-conditioned climate. Number five. You must stay mentally strong. The most important tool in your arsenal in this game besides your phone and your vehicle is your mind. Every offer that comes to your phone is a decision that you have to make. So many of us get so frustrated and emotional once we experience a bad order and double down by making more bad decisions after that. Understand that you are not special. Bad things can and will happen, but getting upset and emotional about it will only allow you to make bad decisions afterwards. In this game, sometimes you have to just take that L, learn from your mistakes and charge it to the game. It's not the app's fault you're not making money. Look at the person in the mirror. Figure out what you are doing wrong and how you can improve your strategy based on the game you are playing. The real gig hustlers out here are doing that daily, always learning and adapting, working on their craft like an athlete to improve their game. If you are on this platform watching these type of videos, you are already a step ahead of most. To the real hustlers out here watching and doing this, understand that this time is just a phase. Many people are going to quit during this time, which just means more opportunities for us going forward. Yes, this time may be below what we like right now, but learning and adapting to survive this time is only going to make us stronger going forward. Only the real full-time Gs are going to be able to come out of this summer fine. And that's okay. Truth be told, there are a lot of gig workers that just really need to go. Or need to let it go. There are a lot of W-2 jobs that need to be filled for the greater good of society. This isn't supposed to be for everybody. And it's about that time to weed people out. Even if one of those people end up being myself. I'll be fine and ready to accept it when it comes and we'll move on to the next chapter of my life. Thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to drop a like or dislike if you hate it. And let me know in the comments below what you do to survive the summer slowdown. Peace. That's the wrong number. Oh.